What is good everybody, it is your boy Kev back with another Xenoverse 2 free update video for you guys. Even though the free update dropped literally like a month and a week ago at this point in time, we are still getting new content that has not dropped yet at this point as well. And the newest thing has been added in the TP Metal Shop. Now recently we just got a raid that if you did not check out the video, be sure to do so. That raid does feature a new Super Soul as well from the free update that has not dropped before. And this time around in the TP Metal Shop, we have this new Super soul from goku which is die goku super soul only once when using an ultimate attack while health is below 25 percent temporarily double strength of melee attacks and temporarily double strength of key blast attacks as well so i mean it's a it's a good super i, I don't want to say a good super soul it's a good super soul when your health is below 25 percent let's put it that way because after that you're getting a times two boost essentially literally a hundred percent increase to the strength of your key blaze uh, uh key blast attacks and your me melee attacks as well which is kind of insane but again it's only when you activate a ultimate while your health is below 25 percent now one way that i can see this actually being used in in some kind of smart way would maybe be in like parallel quest or something like that where you drop your health below that marker on purpose activate this super soul and depending on how long the boost actually lasts will really depend on how good it can be for that purpose right there but in an actual pvp match i don't see the greatest use for this because i've never liked super souls that will only activate when your health reaches a certain percent if that percent is below 50. if your health has to go below 50 percent to activate some kind of super soul and then you still have to do something as well like using an ultimate attack well then at that point in time you're not going to get the most use out of it because you may have matches where your health does not go below 25 percent you may have matches where your health doesn't even go below 50 percent so that's why that's like the marker for me to determine whether or not i will use a super soul if it has a health activation type of thing like this right here and going below 25 is just kind of i mean it's it's just not the greatest to me because again you're not going to have every single match where you go below 25 percent and then you essentially had a whole match where you did not have a super soul at the same time so that's why i personally don't like it i'm still gonna buy it just to have it you know might as well see see what it is see how the damage increases are all things like that but again i don't see the greatest use for it i'll probably do some testing with it seeing how long it lasts all things like that to determine whether or not it truly can be viable in some way shape or form when it comes to pvp but like i said maybe in parallel quests i can see it being useful because it'll just give you a hundred percent boost to both of those categories of attack which can make parallel quests obviously that much quicker and easier as well so let me know your thoughts on the super soul down below in the comments now besides that there is nothing else that is new within the tv metal shop they did not add any artworks or anything like that within this update so again the only new thing that was added in was the super soul and this week around we don't even have the clothing items from the universe or the festival of universe event which price wise are absolutely insane and i was honestly considering making a rant video because i mean come on bro thirty thousand tv medals just for one piece of clothing there's not even another piece of clothing in this whole game that costs a thousand tv medals and you have thirty thousand tv medals for one piece that is just absolutely ridiculous and i, I truly hope that they decide to change that and lessen the price because it makes no sense in my opinion at the very least as to why they would do that and again i may even make a full video just talking about that alone because it is absolutely ridiculous i mean even if you look for example let's back out right go to the buy dlc section five thousand tp medals my boys cost thirty dollars so to get to 30,000, you would have to times that by six. And essentially, if you were to buy this, you were looking at a costume that costs $180 in terms of TP medals. Now, obviously, I don't recommend doing that, but that would be the cost if you just bought the TP medals to get to 30K to be able to actually use that outfit right there and buy it in the game, which again is just absolutely stupid like that makes no sense in my opinion at all and why i may consider making a full-on rant on it at the same time but let me know your thoughts on the newest tp metal shop update that we got down below in the comments if you will be using this super soul all things like that and mainly this is something that you definitely want to get if you're like a completionist type of person which i know there's a lot of people out there but let me know if you think there's any good uses to this super soul down below in the comments when it comes to pve pve parallel quest raids all things along those lines let me know your thoughts but till next time my boys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope you have a good one hey shall